But then you know, you know that short arm too. Uh huh. Well, the, the the most painful variation is tucking it under the ribs and then doing it this way. That's worse. That's a hell of a lot worse than what, what I've been doing it as. Like that. Uh huh. Because like if you clasp your hands, like you're defending, and I stick my hand in here. There's a I may I may make it hurt a little bit, yeah. but but if you if you hold strong, you're gonna be fine. But go ahead and keep keep clasping that. So here, I'll take it a little bit easier, but see it, it it makes a huge difference just sliding that over just like that. From the side, yeah. From the side? Yeah. So we're gonna do that like we were doing earlier with that leg. Yeah. And then you were yeah, okay, so I'm I'm fighting, right? So get your leg over. Now your foot needs to go under my rib, your left foot. That's pretty damn good. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Ah! Woo! Yeah, yeah that's right, because, oh shit, that's right, my fault. This, this, if you're going to do it with your right leg, that goes under my head. Huh? Yeah, okay. So, short arm scissor, you're going to put your, this, uh, this, this leg is going to go over this arm. Oh. Yeah. Is that which arm hooks? Um, I would, I don't think it matters, but I would, I don't really do on the left. Good. And if you have to, excellent. Now, now that left foot goes under my head. And then you just curl your legs together, nice and tight. Now to squeeze down and squeeze that bicep off. Oh, that so <laughs> Woo! So, right? Just that little bit. Uh huh. I'm trying to say you did it. Let me try it. <laughs> I don't know how did you get that. Um, you, can just, right. you can just sit down. This is good. Um, let's do it for the helmet. Let's just go to switch arms. Okay, this one your cutting arm. This one your holding arm. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then you're, what you're going to want to do is take this guy, drape it over, and then hook it now tight, tight, tight. And you don't want this hand to get out. Good. Now go ahead, and what you want to do is you want to dig your forearm straight up towards your chin. In and towards your chin. Okay, and real tight. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> One of us right. with it. All right, so yeah, I don't know what he does. <laughs> well, remember how we were doing something? I mean, you know, obviously, he's working towards it, and he's getting the little eggshell thing, right? Yeah. Well, as long as the arm's bent here. Ah, that's it. <laughs> it's the short arm double wrist lock or something to that effect. Okay. So you're good. There's the arm set up. There's the foot. And there it is. There's a defense, so. We're doing our thing, right? Good. Changing my position. And you block that. I'm not too worried about it because <coughs> I have this. And then, see how I'm hooking your, back your head? Mm -hmm. And then all I have to do is just squeeze my knees in tight. That's it. There you go. And then this guy appears to be going in a little too deep, but I don't know. What, whatever makes you, whatever's comfortable for you, because I don't think it's that big of a deal. Your, your most important part is you, you, you're sitting it up because you know that this guy's going to be cutting into that forearm. Okay. But not yet. You're just securing it. I'm like, well, he's going to try and peel, he's going to try and peel me into a cross arm lock. That's what I'm thinking. And he ain't going to get it. Good. <laughs> you got it, That's right? Right here. The wrist with it. Well, the wrist with the legs in front of my face. So push the hips, get my balance all screwed up. I'm worried now. Good. And no, you'll still be able to fight for an arm bar, but, but what, what's missing is that your leg is not over this. Oh, okay. There. Now figure four. And it may be a little bit tight, but okay. And then nice tuck, tuck into my body. And don't fight it, but tuck it. So tuck it in, because I want to see that. Good. Okay, now now, crank that wrist up, up. Ah, that's it.